At this time, I would like to call on the president of the Young Lawyers Division, Paige Greenley, to come to the podium to present the Young Lawyers Division Pro Bono Award. Thank you, President Young. May it please the court, justices, and welcome to our many distinguished guests. It is my pleasure to introduce this year's Young Lawyers Division Pro Bono Service Award recipient, Rebecca Lauren Sosa from Miami. Throughout my years on the board, the consideration of nominations for this award has always been one of the favorite things that I, I got to participate in. The qual quality and quantity of nominees we receive is truly exceptional every year, and this year was no exception. The YLD Pro Bono Award recognizes a young lawyer who provides outstanding contributions to those in need of legal services. Although everyone in this room today recognizes the necessity for people, regardless of their financial needs, to have means to have equal access to and representation in our justice system, unfortunately, the demand for free legal services largely outweighs the availability. With the difficult economic times we are enduring, the demand for free legal services has increased. At the same time, as many of you know, funding for legal aid service programs around the country has decreased. This makes it more important than ever that the members of this noble profession step forward and help to ensure that all people can enjoy equal access to justice under the law. The YLD has always been a leader in promoting pro bono services and in recognizing those lawyers who demonstrate their dedication to these efforts. And of course, today, we are continuing the longstanding tradition of honoring truly exemplary dedication to the provision of legal services by giving the award to Rebecca. The Florida Bar suggests that all lawyers aspire to contribute 20 hours annually to pro bono service. While that may not seem like a lot, and many of us aspire to do that, particularly as young lawyers at large firms, we click quickly realize that with the dedication of this time to pro bono services, something else has to give. We all have so many demands on our time. This is one of the many things that makes Rebecca truly remarkable. Although she is still a young lawyer, she has gone above and beyond this aspiration of 20 hours a year. In fact, she's gone far beyond it. Rebecca is a 2009 graduate of the University of California Berkeley School of Law, and she received her undergraduate degree from the University of Southern California. Realizing that she wanted to provide legal service to low-income individuals, after graduation from law school, Rebecca went to Buenos Aires with the goal of learning basic Spanish to allow her to provide legal services to the Spanish-speaking population. While in Buenos Aires, Rebecca met her now husband, Luciano, and as they figured out their immigration path to get him to the US, Rebecca started to see how she could realize her own dreams of helping low-income individuals, particularly women and children, through pro bono immigration work. Rebecca is now a fourth-year associate at the law firm of Hughes, Hubbard, and Reed in its Miami office. However, she started her career in the New York office of this firm, and it was then that she truly started to show her dedication to pro bono work. As a summer associate there, she received the firm's Shell Fellowship, which allowed her to sponsor a pro bono project of her choice. Rebecca chose to travel to two border towns in Thailand to interview Burmese ref refugees about their reproductive health care for a report on potential human rights violations. During her first year as an associate, Rebecca contributed more than 1,000 pro bono hours, a mere 980 more than what we are asked to aspire to achieve. Among the work she has done, Rebecca successfully helped a Spanish-speaking Guatemalan woman who had survived abuse from her U.S. spouse to obtain legal permanent residency under the Violence Against Women Act. Rebecca has also worked to obtain survivor benefits for posthumously, posthumously conceived children before the Social Security Administration. Again, another success story. We are lucky Rebecca decided to move to Florida and to continue her pro bono efforts here. She is currently participating in the Miami Pro Bono Roundtable and works to recruit and train other attorneys in her firm to take on immigration cases from Catholic Charities of Greater Miami. 
Ms. Elizabeth Sanchez Kennedy, a lawyer with whom Rebecca works closely at Catholic Charities, said the following of Rebecca. Rebecca's dedication changed the lives of her clients in a remarkable way, particularly with one young female client who is in need of legal, psychological, and physical assistance. Rebecca relentlessly sought to locate the resources the client needed to live in a safe environment. Rebecca's role as a pro bono attorney has impacted the immigrant community on a large scale and should be given recognition. Rebecca clearly recognizes that it is an honor to be a member of the legal profession and that that position carries with it an obligation to help those in need. And she helps to remind all of us here that we have the same obligation. For this reason, I am very proud to present the Young Lawyers Division Pro Bono Award to Rebecca Lauren Sosa. I am just so incredibly humbled and thrilled to be able to stand here before you. I also want to thank you all for taking the time to recognize pro bono work. It is so important, obviously, not just in economically difficult times, but it really is always important. We're so fortunate as lawyers, and uh, there's so many people out there who could use some help. And I promise you, if you reach out your hand to somebody in their time of need, you can save them from uh, hitting the floor and, and worse. And I've seen that firsthand. I, many people have shared other similar stories of seeing that. And I, I'm so honored to be able to be a part of helping out someone. We've all needed help at various points in our life. So it's, it's rewarding for me and rewarding for all of us to be a part of a profession that can just do so much to help so many people. So thank you all. Thank, uh, congratulations to all of the other people who have been awarded today. And uh, to all of the other people who are contributing their time and money and efforts and support and encouragement to all of the lawyers uh, in Florida and beyond who are giving their time to pro bono work. And, and this award has just given me more juice to keep going for those sometimes very long hours uh, that we have to devote in our jobs and also to devote to this extra work that we do on this side. I wanted to talk a little bit about one of my more memorable cases that we uh, heard a little bit about today. This was my, uh, I learned Spanish in Buenos Aires when I met my husband, and this is my first Spanish-speaking client. So she holds a very, very special place in my heart. And she was just so brave. She's from Guatemala. She uh, had a very difficult situation with an abusive spouse here in the US. And I salute her. She was able to get out of that relationship, get help, and got help from, uh, from me and my firm and from other organizations who help provide the resources to connect uh, lawyers who want to do pro bono work. And it's really a transformational experience for her and, frankly, for me. Uh, she was a caterpillar who just blossomed into a butterfly. When I first met her, she was timid and scared, and she just did not know where her life was going to go. And sometimes in the law, you, things take some time. So in the course of uh, working with her for over two years, we finally were able to get her legal permanent residence. And I am so proud of her and of all of the efforts of my, my firm and the people who I worked with to help her get there. And she is a different person today. And that's because of the kind of work that we're supporting here today. So I carry her with me often. Um, I brought her thank you note that she wrote to me after she was able to, now that she has legal status, she was able to go visit her son, who she sent back to Guatemala to live with her parents while she was in some very difficult times in the abusive home that she was in. And she called me from Guatemala with her son to say thank you. She was so happy. I could just hear it in their voices started to cry. Um, it was very touching, but I, I just want to in, hopefully inspire everyone in this room. Everyone can play a part. Everyone can make dramatic change in other people's lives and in their own lives as well through pro bono work. Uh, so in her card to me, she says, and I'll, I'll translate it afterwards, uh, para una persona muy especial que ha contribuido a un cambio en mi vida para siempre. A very to a very special person who has contributed to changing my life forever. And being here today, I can really tell her she's really changed mine forever too. So thank you so much to all of you, and this is just such an honor to be here. Thanks very much.